We're here at our um, Yasat headquarters site, um, just outside of, um, of Abu Dhabi. Uh, behind us, we have the, uh, the antennas for, um, for the communication and the control of, of spacecraft. Now, primarily what these, uh, these antennas are here for are the, um, uh, to control our own Y1A Yarsat spacecraft. This is um, currently in uh, Kourou, French Guiana, going through the final preparations prior to launch. The t total thrust when everything is combined is probably in, in excess of, um, of 50 jumbo jets. So the, uh, the rocket comprises um, two very large uh, solid boosters and then a central core stage which is all cryogenic and by, by cryogenic it's combining liquid hydrogen with liquid oxygen. Overall there are 130 tons of liquid oxygen and 25 tons of, of liquid hydrogen. These are combined by turbo pumps into an engine. So um, following this, um, this launch which takes approximately 25 minutes by the time the spacecraft um, separates from the rocket, we then take over control and we go through a number of, um, of very precise maneuvers to, to make the spacecraft what we call geostationary. So this puts it in an orbit such that it's, it's orbiting at the same speed as the Earth is rotating. So vis-a-vis -vis, uh, an observer or a terminal on the Earth, it's, the spacecraft is stationary. So this is key for any, um, any communications services that, um, that the spacecraft appears to be stationary. You point your antenna to the spacecraft and the spacecraft doesn't move. So once this orbit phase is over then all the, um, all the control of the spacecraft moves here to, to Abu Dhabi. We have both um, spacecraft control centers and network control centers. These are, these are fully manned. We've, um, we have a number of, um, of highly trained uh, Emirati engineers to control the spacecraft and everything will be done from, from Abu Dhabi.